one of the most rewarding things for me in my 11 years um, has been the creation of this facility. Um, it makes everybody more comfortable from the staff to the volunteers to the patrons. And you see a lot of community here. Um, a lot of people come in every day, uh, sit with the same people and socialize and it's a, it's a big part of their lives. I'm really proud that we've created this atmosphere and space so that when people do need that, they feel like they can do it and they don't feel so anxious about doing it as they used to before. And so for me, that's a big one as well. Community Kitchen was formed about 33, 32 years ago. Um, basically, it was a, an agency that was kind of born out of a committee that fall, that winter. Uh, it was a particularly hard winter financially and uh, weather-wise. So there was a committee of folks that came together to form um, whatever they thought might be necessary to help people get through the winter. And so one of the things that they thought would be helpful was to start a place where they could have a free meal two days a week. And so that was initially really just to help people get through the winter, um, but they saw the popularity of it and the need for it continue. Um, and so it started in March of 1983, um, but continued to go from that point further. You know, we have a variety of volunteers here. I think our volunteer pool is probably Besides looking at like the entire Indiana University, I think our volunteer pool is probably one of the most diverse populations of people that I ever encounter in town. Um, and that's because we have, we have a lot of, of students who are doing service work or whatever. Uh, we get a lot of people who are, um, who've gotten assistance from the township trustee. They're low income people in a financial bind. They get financial assistance for the trustee and the trustee asks them in return for that to do some volunteer service and so they'll come with essentially that debt to pay to the trustee. I had some friends who worked here and then I also had to do some community service and it seemed like a good location to do it and uh, I really enjoyed it, kept volunteering and was offered a, a job eventually. I mean our volunteers are very broad. Some people uh, come in in groups and churches um, and it's a social thing for them. Um, and also to, you know, they do it to help the community. Um, and some people do it just because they need, they need to, because it's court ordered. Um, and some of them don't really want to be here. And some of them really enjoy being here once they are. Uh, and it's, it's really rewarding to, to work with the ones who, who turn it around and, you know, are kind of bummed out that they're doing something that they're, you know, they're just ordered to do it. And then they come in and really enjoy themselves and maybe even learn something. The most challenging thing for us as a whole, I think, and I think we're pretty good at it, but it's just rolling with the punches. You know, I mean, there'll be days uh, where the weather's bad and volunteers don't show up and we still have to get the food out, uh, so we've got to figure that out. Or days then, you know, that we're a little challenged in terms of what we can cook because of the food we have available um, and being able to work that out. And so, you know, one of the things we always talk about here when we hire new staff is that, yeah, we're usually looking for a skill set you know, a, a particular type of person who's had some experiences in certain types of things, but really for us it ends up being about that personality fit. Are you the personality who can really roll with it? Because rolling with it is what we do here and we have to do that. And while I think we do it well, it is always a challenge. It's every day there's something we gotta roll with and it's, it's just part of it. You know, it, when the weather's bad, it affects us in a couple of ways. One is that uh, volunteers just won't be able to show up or won't show up or can't or don't feel comfortable. We got a lot of older volunteers, and so for them especially, when the weather's bad, driving, shoveling, walking on ice is not always a good idea. We have a lot of retired folks, a lot of seniors. Um, we have folks who really just are financially stable and well off enough they don't have to work. Um, we have people of all faiths, um, all nationalities, and all ages. I think our oldest volunteer right now is probably 85. One of the things that I think is most cool about that is that we'll have in the kitchen volunteers working side by side, people who would never have met each other otherwise, and they find that common ground, and I think it just helps all of us be better humans when we're connecting with people that we wouldn't normally intersect with at all.